Hello Internet, I'm your only mate and it's time for the season finale of Ruby Abridged, episode 10, or chapter 10, whatever. Uh, as I should say before reaction videos, uh, click the link in the description below to go watch the actual episode itself, like, subscribe, all of that stuff, then come back to watch this video. Okay? Good. Support the official release, and speaking of that, and as they say in all the bridge series, or should say in all the bridge series, uh, be sure to support Rooster Teeth and the official release, uh, I'll have a link to that in the description below as well. Okay, so when we last left off, uh, Weiss and Blake had their little, uh, argument, and Blake ran off, and now she's with Sun. It was revealed at the end of the episode that, uh, Blake and Sun know each other already, and I am really curious as to where they're going to take this, because honestly, when I first watched Ruby, that's what I thought was the case. I thought they were like childhood friends or something. I'll talk more about that at the end. Uh, so, yeah, I'm curious about this and where else this could, uh, this could go. Uh, also, say in the description, uh, stay tuned until after the credits. I will be sure to do that. Nah. Yeah, let's see how they wrap up Volume 1. As I say all the time, I'm going to put these on shut the... Uh, uh, yeah, I cannot talk today. I'm going to just shut up and hit play. The following is a fan this parody. Ruby is over just by Ruby C Productions. Please support the official release. I almost said the Team 4 star thing. <laughs> how did you know I was in Vail? Wow, straight to the point, huh? No, hey man, how have you been? Glad my boyfriend didn't chop your head off. That came out wrong. Hmm. Are you going to answer me or not? I forged some documents and got myself enrolled at Haven Academy. Built myself a whole new identity from the ground up. Oh. New name, new birth certificate. Wait, what? And you're still not answering my question. Relax, princess, I'm getting there. My buddy Neptune started talking about how this awesome fighter from Mistral ended up at Beacon. And when I looked up the roster mm -hmm. for the school, guess whose picture I found along with hers? Gotta admit, Blake Belladonna is a pretty catchy name. But I gotta ask, how did you get away? What are you doing? Come back here! Oh, you. I'm done. Done with your bullshit! Or should I say goat shit? <laughs> I still believe he's a goat faunus, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, if only it was that easy. Kohai, please. Wait, what? We brought you tuna. What? Weiss, you brought it, right? That slimy shit is for poor people. Swear jar. Just go hire a butler. Pay up and I will. Oh my god. If the girl was prim and proper as you claim to be, you would watch your mouth and pay your dues. <laughs> First off, I don't swear that much. And second, you haven't paid either. Would you two like to use PayPal or a wire transfer? <laughs> <laughs> I like how they use a the tumbleweed as like a western thing. Where's your friend Blake? We don't know. We've been looking for her all day. <gasps> well, if you want to find your teammate, I'm your best bet. I'm a hide and seek grandmaster. I will be the next May Penny. I think we're okay. Really? Right. And they're gone. Okay, now I'm hearing it. So who's <laughs> stealing all this dust? The cops think it's Roman Torchwick, but Weiss thinks it's the White Fang. Plot twist. It's, it's both. <laughs> Like in a riot. They love starting riots. So what if they change their strategy because the cops would never expect it? They'd skate right under the radar, at least for a while. Right? They'd have to store hmm. the dust and then smuggle it out somehow. I saw some huge warehouses at the harbor, but the Port Authority probably locks them. How huge? Huge. You could store Nevermores in them. Let's go. That's pretty big. Thanks for nothing. Freaking useless. Wow. You realize she ran off because of you. Don't pin this on me. You heard what she said. Honestly, she can stay gone for all I care. Damn! Probably went back to the White Fang. She's been gone for 12 hours now. Better than 127. Ugh, <laughs> why, Penny? People like dark humor? Yes, but well... Yeah, but not everyone does. Okay, well, why did she run? Well, it's a bit of a long story. I've got time. Well, she let a cat out of the bag last night and... She keeps her cat in a bag? <laughs> no, that's not what I... Oh, God. I didn't mean it like that. She told Weiss what she really thinks of her, and it didn't go over well. Mm. I just don't understand it. How could anybody?
anybody be so inhumane toward her own cat? <laughs> oh, Damn it, Penny. <gasps> Talk about hiding in plain sight. Hmm. How's it going? Still nothing. Everyone's just standing around, like they're waiting for someone. Huh. Feeling hungry? Did you really leave me here alone to get a bunch of apples? Uh, technically it's called a bushel. <laughs> well, someone's sour. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> and I never thought of it like that. <laughs> huh. You know, I'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> First load on the transport. My team's still in Mistral. Guess we'll have to call yours in. We should just call the police. Yeah. My team isn't gonna help me. Well, Calling the police would have actually been the smart thing to do. Now I think about it. You should have done this a long time ago, if you ask me. Probably could have paid off that blood-sucking bitch ten times already. Mm. I guess the cops are right after all. Hey, get back down! You know you can't take him. What a fucking bet, son. Strap the load down and get. I've seen there. volume two. Oh joy, here we go. Nobody move! Whoa! Well, would you look who the cat tracked in? And there it is. You idiots recognize me now? Put down your weapons or I'll kill him. <laughs> Jesus, like threatening. I gotta say, I'm surprised Adam hasn't put you six feet under the dirt. I'm surprised someone hasn't put a bullet in the back of your head. Ooh. Well then, I guess we're all just chock full of surprises tonight, aren't we? I like the music here. I mean, I know how this is going to end. You're just a bag of tricks, aren't you? <laughs> and you have a banana on your head. Long time no see, Roman. Huh. Man, does everyone know each other before this? People jumping into the middle of a fight that had nothing to do with you. Well, imagine my shock. Let's get up after him. And this is probably one of my favorite moments with Sun when he like kicks all this ass. And the gun chucks. Seriously, how the fuck Monty animated that? Jesus Christ. Son, get out of there. Uh. And it comes Ruby. Salutations, Red. And when did you learn my name? Door trick, you pushed the ruby button. You sure did that. Now you're mine. For you hurt my new friend and stole my barking line. <laughs> oh. oh, Penny's pissed. Hello there. I'm fairly certain that guy got impaled several times. It's not gonna do shit. <laughs> Kamehameha! That's basically what she did. Piss off, Penny. When there's trouble, you know who to call. Oh, shut up. From their tower, they can see it all. You don't value your life much, do you, pal? Uh, probably not, but that was funny. <laughs> hey, guys, it was so considerate of you to just ditch me, but on the upside, Penny can actually fight, so that's kind of. 
kind of cool, and you're just going to ignore me, aren't you? Hmm. Weiss, I'm so sorry for the things I said about you and your family last night. I let my mom. Stop! What you said and did was completely and totally uncalled for, and I hope you don't just expect me to act like it never happened. No, of course I don't expect. Uh, but, 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 I wasn't finished yet. I wanted uh -huh. to apologize for the way I acted as well. You what now? I accused you of defending the people yeah. that you ended up fighting tonight. Or should I say, you too? And I'm sorry for that. Hmm. But understand that I'll be watching you for a while. Of course. You know, given the manga, she actually does do that. <laughs> you better believe I'll be watching you too. <laughs> hey, did anybody see where Penny ran off to? Nope. The council will be pleased that you completed the first phase of your mission so quickly. Thank you, sir. Keep your wits about you, Penny. We have a long way to go. Oh, about that. <laughs> hey, Crow. The general light. <laughs> and that's volume one. Now for the the credits. Uh, great job to everyone for this season overall, I'd say. All the voice actors, editors, like writers, just everyone, all right? Everyone at Kruby. Probably not. They just show up out of nowhere and stop me as if they were following some damn script that tells them exactly where I am. <laughs> to follow some damn script. <laughs> it's always straight to the point. Oh, I like that line for some reason. Are you going to answer me or not? Hey, why don't you tell me why you're not crawling up Adam Torres' ass over this? Oh, don't worry. Sienna Khan's seeing to him. So, why don't you tell me more about this robot girl? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, the summer, sweet. Okay, well, that was quite the interesting episode, and I do like how they wrapped up the whole uh, little falling out with uh, Weiss and Blake. Yeah, they both said things that were a bit. Anyway. Uh, curious as to this backstory they gave Sun, like, changing his name, like, I'm just wondering, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> Although, given a new Torchwick, probably not good stuff. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> uh, that was a, that was a nice touch, and, oh, oh, Blake, if only it was that easy to... Get away from Adam. I will say, with the whole Blake and Son knowing each other beforehand, I am still really curious as to what that's going to do for like various scenes and like the next volume. And hell, even beyond that. Nah. Yeah, because finding out they weren't like, friends before volume one and the actual series, that did kind of make me... Like, question a whole bunch of stuff. Because after I watched Volume 1, I thought they were, like, childhood friends. And the four of them, like, I don't know, back together and, like, attending me or something. I was like, oh, that's cute. And this might shock a few people, but that was actually why I was originally a Black Sun fan. But then the beginning of Volume 2 happened, and, uh, some things were said that didn't exactly, uh, sit so well with me. And then Blake and Yang had that talk, and I was like, I'm good with this. So, that's how I became a Bumblebee fan. Yeah, but, uh, talking of that, I, like, I was re watching the previous episode before watching this, and. The uh, reaction that Yang had to Sun's wink 
I do, I would really love to see more interactions with those two. But they next to never interact in the actual series. Like, a few times in Volume 2, and then that's it. So, I don't really know what else what there is for that. I mean, then again, they have had characters just interact, like, through audio. Like, they're not on screen. And I guess Kruby does do that uh, VR chat stuff, so they, they can make it work. If they wanted to keep that whole thing going. <laughs> One of my favorite moments in this episode does have to be just how pissed off Penny was. It honestly just reminds me of, like, okay, the reason I mention, oh, you pushed the ruby button, you shouldn't have that, it just, it's just a DBZ abridge joke I saw the opportunity for. So I like how Sun references Neptune here. So, that's nice, and I'm really curious to see what they'll do with him in uh, Volume 2. And, uh,. Well, I would say Scarlet and Sage, but how often are they around? <laughs> I, I've, I've joked about this with my friend Max. Like, at this point, Team Sun only really has two members. Okay, no disrespect to Scarlet and Sage. It, Scarlet and Sage. It's really just a joke that you know they don't appear very often. Like, not even in Chibi. And I actually would like to see them appear in Chibi. Especially Scarlet, just because he's voiced by Gavin Free. And I feel like, just based on that alone, there are plenty of jokes you could make. But anyway, I shouldn't be talking too much about that. But Overall, uh, this whole season, well, volume I should say, uh, good start to a... Ruby Bridge series. I would say my favorite episode had to be the, uh, I forget what it's called. Let me just look it up real quick. Uh, real time. I can't really say Googling. Uh, real time looking it up. Most people would edit this out, but I'm too lazy. Uh, my favorite episode would have to be episode 6, when Weiss was reliving that entire day, like, repeatedly and repeatedly, like, Groundhog Day, there's many, many people pointing out to me in the comments, or just in chats. Uh, a film I've never seen, by the way. Well, I saw a bit of it once, but anyway. Uh... It's just the way that they <laughs> handle that whole thing. And just, like, having Weiss, like, shake when she was frustrated in the episode, but be like, oh, she just really has to pee. I thought that was hilarious. And bringing in Volume 2, like, footage, I thought that was just clever. So. Yeah, that was, hands down, my favorite episode this season. And I cannot wait to see what Season 2 is like. Uh, this summer. I do wonder if that will uh, be tied to RTX in any way, which I will be attending. A flight to Texas. Ten hours. Yay. Uh. Well, I have, I have friends waiting there for me, like uh, Max of Your Trades, Freelancer Amber, uh, the Jedi Bender for one day. And, uh, who knows who else. So, that'll be a thing. And I guess this will be, uh, one of the last Ruby reactions I do for a while. At least until Ruby Chibi comes back. Oh, and I still want to do, uh, Ruby What Ifs on, on my channel. And speaking of, I mentioned this on Twitter. I'm going to mention this in a video. Uh... 
The iBurn anthology manga comes out this week for me. Like, it comes out differently in the UK. It's kind of annoying uh, because I see people post like screenshots and I'm like, I want to read it. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would wait until that comes out and then you know read it all through. And after that, I would record part three of my What If Yang Was a Saiyan What If. Uh, but also, I am thinking about doing a different What If after I record part three of that one. Like, take a little break uh, from it. Uh, but yeah, just want to get more What Ifs out there. And this one I'm thinking of, it doesn't actually center around any of Team Ruby. I won't say who it centers around, but I have had some fun thinking of ideas for that. And even just talking about it with a, a friend. So that will come out at some point. I don't know when, but... Random tangent, uh, there. And I can't think of much else to say. So, I'm just gonna awkwardly end the video here. So, uh, thanks for watching, all of that stuff. Look forward to reacting to Ruby Abridged Season 2. And here's whatever outro I did not use last time, because I am absolutely terrible at remembering this. Bye. Hey guys, Goku here. You are watching Your Only Mate. And Your Only Mate is only good for the fact that at least he won't eat as much of your food. Catch you later!